Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Yoga at Home with Julie. Um, for today's session, we are going to be playing with the strap. If you don't have a strap, um, feel free to improvise. You might think about using a necktie or you could even use the, the leg of a trouser. Um, yoga props really only started to exist um, in the last 40 years. Um, the way that we know yoga props. So do feel free to improvise. Um, if you really want to own a strap, um, this one is from a site in the UK called Yoga Matters, um, but you should be able to find them in, in most sports shops. Okay, um, and just to say it's a cotton strap rather than one of the bendy, rubbery kind. Okay, um, so for, day, for two days session, we are going to play with deep stretches for the legs, as well as finding ways of utilizing the strap okay um, as always i just i always want to invite you to be kind to yourself um, to practice with a sense of playfulness um, and just to to be in the experience of being in your body okay okay so we will begin um, and just to say I am in very beautiful Italy right now. This is not a fake Zoom background. <laughs> this is uh, Praia Amare um, in Calabria. So I'm feeling a bit blessed. <laughs> okay. So to begin, we're going to start as we usually do with a centering and breathing exercise. And because we will be on our back for much of the practice today, um, I would like to invite you to sit rather than lie down to begin. So just sit up nice and tall, maybe sit on a prop if you struggle to sit. Um, so a cushion or a bolster, anything at all. And then once you come into a seated position, Take an inhale and roll the shoulders up. And exhale them down and back. And again. And one more. And just relax the shoulders down. Close the eyes and take a deep inhale through the nose and then exhale, sigh or blow the air out of the mouth. And just do that a few times, inhaling calm. Exhaling, sighing out, letting go of any stress or any tension. And then once you've sighed out a few times, just come back to the natural rhythm of your breath. Notice your breath. Notice where it lands in your body. And take a moment to soften through the face. Relax the brow. Relax down along the corners of the eyes and the corners of the mouth. Loosen the jaw. And take that same awareness down the neck, over the shoulders. All the way down into the hands, softening through the hands and the fingers. Relax your feet and your toes. And just notice anywhere that you might be storing tension in your body and see if simply through noticing you can start to release it. And 
and take the awareness and bring it back to the breath. And start to deepen the breath. Inhale through the nose, take the breath down into the belly so that the belly rises with the inhale. Exhale out the nose and feel the belly roll back toward the spine. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. And deepen the breath further. Inhale through the nose, fill up, belly, ribs, chest, expanding all the way up through the inhale. Exhale out the nose, chest, ribs, and belly contract. As many of you will know, this is your dirga breath. So if you're able, try to come into your ujjayi or your ocean wave sounding breath by constricting in the back of the throat and the epiglottis as if you're inhaling and exhaling the word home through the nose to create that audible wave sound. Take a few more deep breaths here. And as always, if at any point your mind wanders, just gently acknowledge the thought and return to your breath. Start to mentally ready yourself for movement. And in your own time and in your own way, just draw some movement back into your body, letting yourself stretch, roll around, yawn, sigh, just do whatever you need. And let's take a few warm up seated before we bring it down and start to play with the strap. So from your seated position, just take an inhale, lift through the arms and exhale, release down. And again, inhale, lift and exhale down. And then inhale, lift. And exhale, take your right hand down, reach your left arm across, maybe coming down onto that right forearm. Inhale, lift all the way up and exhale over to the other side. And just take a few more of these back and forth, blowing like seagrass in the wind. All right, and then when next you inhale and you come all the way up, interlace your fingers, lift up through your knuckles, sitting up as tall as you can. Take another inhale here, and then exhale, twist to the right. Inhale through center, and then exhale left. Inhale center. Exhale right. Inhale center and exhale left. Inhale center, unwind the fingers and hinge forward from the hips bowing down to this beautiful earth. 
and then draw your hands back in toward your heart. Inhale, lift all the way up and exhale down. And take a few more. One more. And then when next you come up, take your hands to your knees and then take your heart forward, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, tuck the chin in towards your chest and round back. Do that again, inhale, heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale and round. One more, just like that seated cat dog or cat cow. All right, and then inhale, take the heart forward and then swing it around like you're using your torso to scoop out a jar. And then go the other way. And take it all the way back through center. Unwind your legs, unwind your arms. Take your legs out in front of you and just give them a little shake out. Just shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, and let's even do just a little bit of silly massage here. So just take a couple fists and gently start to pummel one leg and foot. And the other. And then up into the belly, around to the kidneys, and then up into the chest. And you can make a noise if you want to make a noise. And then down each armpit, really getting around the lymph nodes there. And then down the arm. And over the other one. And then rather than hit yourself in the face, make little fingertips up the neck, the face and the crown. And then once you've had that little bit of self massage there, start to bring yourself down onto your back and just have your strap nearby where you can easily access it. And then once you've come down onto your back, just take your legs, extend them out to a hip distance stance and take your arms out to a T against the ground. Flex your feet. Inhale, lift your right leg halfway up to 45 degrees. We're going to just do a tiny bit of core work here. Now, if at any point this feels like too much, if it feels like it's going into your back or if it just feels like too much on the, the leg, what you can do is you can bend up that left leg here and then place the left foot on the ground, okay? If you want slightly more of a challenge, keep that left leg extended. Inhale, lift that right leg up to 90 degrees, flexing the foot. and then take that right leg, bring it down to a hover. Keep the left side of your body grounded here, particularly that left buttock. As you then turn that right leg, swing it out to the side at that low hover, and then draw it all the way back up to the sky up toward 90 degrees. So you take it down, out, and back up. And just do a few of these, staying high to your hip. Breathe into it. If you find that you're falling into that right hip, place your left hand on your left hip and just help to remind yourself to keep it grounded. Let's go two more.
Okay, take it all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, bend that right knee. Interlace your fingers over your right shin. Flex the right foot. If your left knee is bent, extend the left leg here. Draw the right knee as close to the chest as is comfortable. Relax the head, relax the shoulders. And take a moment just to sigh out. Okay, once you've sighed out a few times, take hold of your strap, and then I want you to place your right foot into the strap, um, just along the middle. Okay, go ahead and take hold of your strap now. And then I want you to just bring the middle of the strap around the sole of the right foot and take that right foot up into the sky. You can then hold onto the strap either by wrapping it around the hands or simply holding it. And then you're going to relax your shoulders and just keep the elbows down to start. And just like before, if anything feels like too much for you, you um, feel free. And just like before, if anything feels like too much, feel free to bend up that left leg. Okay, from here, flex your right foot. Push up through your right heel like you're holding up the sky with your right foot. And as you do this, you should feel a very deep stretch moving through the back of that right leg. Keep pushing up and let gravity do its work here. And start to pulse, and you can let the elbows go wide. Pulse that foot forward and back. Like you're bringing the foot oof, over the front of the face. You should really feel that in the hamstrings. And when next that foot comes forward, hold it. Keep pushing up through the heel. Okay, and then take that foot back toward neutral, toward a neutral 90 degrees. And from here, I want you to imagine that that foot in the sky is a kite and you're going to fly that kite. Let the foot be very heavy into the fabric. Start to circle it around. So you're flying that kite in small circles. And then gradually spiral it wider and wider, making those spirals bigger. And you can roll into the hip there, that's okay. And then take it the other way, reversing the spiral. And then start to make it smaller. And then bring it all the way back up to 90. And draw the two sides of the strap together here. Hold the both sides of the strap with your right hand up as high as you can there. And it's okay for the right shoulder to lift. Take your left arm out to a T, half a T that is. Now, keeping the left side grounded here, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, draw that right leg out toward the right side. And you should feel this on your inner thigh. You can probably hear the train going past, just down the mountain from where I am. That's what that noise is. Keep breathing deeply, guys.
Okay, inhale, lift it all the way back up through center. Swap hands. So now your left hand is holding the, the two sides of the straps high up, right arm coming out to half a T. If your left leg is bent, extend it out for this one. Take an inhale here and then exhale. Start to roll into that left hip and take your right leg across toward the left side. And it's absolutely fine for the right side to lift into this twist. Keep that right leg straight and ooh, you should feel a very deep stretch moving through the back of that right leg. I feel it particularly around the calf. Okay, inhale, take it all the way back up towards center. Now, take both hands to both sides of the strap, like you're climbing up a rope, and then tuck the chin in toward the chest, lift the head, lift the shoulders, take your head up to the knee. If you want to take it further, you might be able to take hold of the back of the leg, drawing the head up that way. And again, it's okay for that left leg to lift and bend here. It will ease it off a little bit. So just have that play with what feels best to your body right now. And ooh, I feel I've got really tight hamstrings this, uh, this afternoon. Okay, take it all the way back toward center. And then once you've come back to center, just gently unwind. Okay, take it all the way back towards center. Now slide your hands down both sides of the straps. And again, like you're flying that kite, I want you just to take the next few moments to have a play here. So I want you to fly the kite and then when you find a really good stretch, I want you to breathe into it at least one full inhale and exhale, pushing out through the heel. And then play with finding some more stretches. one is really serving you, hold it a little longer. You can feel these stretches in many places. You might feel it around the back of the calf. You might feel it in the hamstrings, the hips. You might even be able to, to feel it a bit into the glute or the IT band. So take one more breath here. Start to unwind the strap. Take your arms back out to a T. If your left knee is bent, extend the left leg out here and very, very slowly float your right leg all the way down. that right leg comes down, just sigh out. And notice if the right leg feels longer than the left leg right now. That's a really common thing that can happen here. Um, you can have a little giggle about it. <laughs> and <laughs> okay, and then flex both feet again. Inhale, lift your left leg halfway up to 45 degrees. Hold that there. And just like before, if at any point you need, you can bend up your right leg, placing your right foot on the ground. Take 
Take that left leg all the way up toward 90. And then take that leg, bring it down to a low hover. Keep the right side of your body grounded as you then flex that left foot, swing it out toward the left side, and then all the way back up toward 90. So you take it down, out, and back up. Take a few more, engaging your core with that. Okay, and then take it all the way up, inhale. Oh, and exhale, bend that left knee. Interlace the fingers over the left shin, flex the foot. If the right leg is bent, extend it back out for this. Draw the knee toward the chest, relax the head, relax the shoulders, and just sigh it out. Okay, unwind the fingers. Take hold of the strap, placing your foot along the middle of the strap. Take it up into the sky and then wrap the strap around your hands however you need. Again, letting gravity do its work. Just relax the arms, flex the foot, really push up through that left heel. Breathe. Start to pulse that foot forward and back, like you're bringing the foot over the face. And when next you pulse it forward, hold it, hold it, hold it, breathe. Take it back to center. And then from here, you're going to create those spirals. So starting small and gradually spiraling wider and wider. Let the foot be heavy in the strap as you play with this. Take it in the opposite direction. Start to make it a little smaller again. Spiral it all the way back up to 90. Take both sides of the strap in the hands. Walk your left hand up as high as you can. Take your right arm out to a T. Take an inhale here, keeping the right side grounded. And then exhale, take that left leg out toward the left side.
Say hi to your inner thigh. <laughs> Take it all the way back up to center. Swap hands. Take your left arm out wide. Inhale here. And then again, if that right knee is bent, extend the right leg for the twist. And then, ooh, take that left leg over toward the right side. Keep that left leg straight. For me, this is a very, very deep stretch in the back of the calf. Just breathe, breathe, breathe in here. And then take it all the way back up towards center. Tuck the chin in toward the chest. Climb the strap like you're climbing a rope there. If you prefer to bend up your right knee, go ahead and do so. And then you're going to take your head up towards your left knee. You can also take the hands to the back of that left leg. But again, just do what feels right to you. Listen to your body. Um, if like me, your legs are feeling a little tight today, maybe take it a little easier than you sometimes would. All right, unwind. Take your hands down the individual sides of the strap again. And then just imagine that that leg is a kite, your foot is a kite in the sky again. And start to have a play, find stretches ooh, that feel right to you and hold again, at least for a full breath, inhale, exhale. Take a few more breaths, having a play here. Okay, take it all the way back up to center. Now take your right leg up to meet your left and then flex both feet, pushing up into the sky. Oof, and feel that stretch moving through the back of both legs. And then have a little play here. Keep the feet flexed and then Reach your arms back and just lift your bum up a little, drawing the legs back using your arms. All right. Start to take it back toward neutral. Wrap the hands maybe once. Draw the shoulders down. Tuck the chin in toward your chest. And then use the strength of your core to come all the way up toward a seated position, okay? And then once you, just gonna turn to face you here, okay. And then once you come up to seated, just place the strap down for a moment. And a very silly little trick here, take hold of the beautiful abundance of your bottom, gently pull it to one side, and then do the same to the other side so that you can ground down through the sit bones. Okay. So take an inhale, lift through the arms, and then exhale, hinge forward from the hips, bowing down. Inhale, roll the hands back in toward the heart and up to the sky, and exhale, bow. Take 
take a few more like this. One more. All right, and then roll it back up. Take hold of the strap again. Flex your feet. And then I want you to roll your shoulders back, send your heart forward, like you're sending your heart toward your toes. Really elongate through the spine. And then exhale, lean in a little bit. Maybe lean in a little more. And either walk down your strap and keep going, or at any point when it feels like enough, stop there and breathe. Just hold the pose. If you prefer to hold on to your feet rather than the strap, you can do so. But both with the strap and with the feet, neither are here to torture you, okay? So just listen to your body with this. And then I want you to inhale, elongate the spine, and then exhale, gently round down, taking the head down toward the knees, if and only if that feels okay to your back to round down. If it doesn't feel okay to your back, just keep a nice, um, slightly arched or flat back. Inhale, lift the head, lift the heart, and then bend your knees, take hold of the strap again, walk back, and then I want you to pull up through your core, so at no point here are we turning into sad turtles, okay? Head stays up, shoulders are back, and I want you to lift up, pulling up through the core, bring your feet, again, so that they're flexed, and we've got the calves parallel to the ground. Okay, now we're going to have a little bit of a play here, okay? So I want you to take your right foot out of the strap and hold that pose. And it's a little tricky and you'll probably wobble a little if you're not used to this. And then we're going to work the hips. So we take that left leg out to the side and then exhale it back up. Inhale out. Five more. Should be feeling that in the hip and the inner thigh. And we go three, two, and one. Put it back in. Roll the shoulders down. Pull up through the core. Make sure that you're still holding that nice, strong back and core. And then we take the left foot out. Okay? And we draw it down and up. Few more. And one, take it up, put it back in. Now I want you to roll the shoulders back again, pull up through your core, and then play with trying to extend the legs up, okay, as best you can. And then release the strap, take the arms out and hold. So we're working the core here. We're in our upward boat pose. Okay, draw the knees in. And then take your, you know, the soles of your feet together. Take the knees wide, draw the heels as close to the groin as is comfortable. Interlace your fingers over your toes. Take a traction of the spine. So roll your shoulders down. Really elongate the spine here. Breathe.
Okay, from here, we're just going to play with a couple more things before we bring it down. So I'd like you to take hold of your big toes, roll the shoulders back, pull up through your core, and then start to lean back. So it's the same idea as what you were just doing um, with the core and with the nice strong spine. Now, play with the idea then of taking your legs out wide, and it's just a play, it's always just a play. If they don't straighten all the way, if they're slightly bent, that's okay. Okay, play with letting them go, but holding, you're gonna feel your hip flexors. Okay, <sighs> take your heels down and then take the legs as wide as you comfortably can here um, or suitably can, because I know it's not always comfortable. <laughs> okay, we take the legs out, take an inhale, lift through the arms. And then exhale, turn toward your left leg, hinge forward from the hip, bowing down over that leg. Roll the hands back in toward the heart and up to the sky. And exhale over to the other side. And just take these side to side. One more to each side. Okay. And then roll it all the way back up. Inhale, lift your arms. And then exhale, sink your shoulders. Turn toward your left leg. Take an inhale here. Exhale, hinge forward like you're giving a hug out past that leg. You're reaching, 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 giving that hug. Lean into it a little more. And then take the fingertips down either side of that leg. If you would like to use your strap, you can place the strap around the sole of that left foot and then gently lean in a little further. You may not need the strap, in which case you can also just hang down, taking the head toward the knee, or also play with taking the chin to the shin and see how that changes the stretch. Okay. Lift the head, lift the heart. If you're using the strap, take it with you. And then you can just place it over the other foot, preparing it. And then we're going to inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, sink the shoulders. Breathe. And then turn to face that right leg. Hinge forward, giving that hug past that leg. Oof. Go a little further. And take the hands all the way down. And either feel free to use your strap or if you don't need the strap, that's okay. We're going to inhale, elongate. Exhale, bow. Head toward the knee or chin toward the shin. Okay, lift the head, lift the heart. And I think we're done with the strap. So from here, last uh, couple of things. So take an inhale, lift the arms. And then as you exhale, I want you to take your right elbow and you can either bring it down onto your right thigh or place it down on the inside of the right knee. Lift the left arm up to the sky and then reach it all the way across toward your... Okay, so a couple last things now. 
take an inhale, lift up through the arms. And then as you exhale, take your left elbow, either bring it down onto your left thigh or down in front of the left knee, reach your right arm up into the sky, and then swing that right hand over toward your left toes. But we're turning and looking up underneath that right armpit. We're not turning down, we were just in that downward stretch. Now we're working on the side. And then reach that right hand back up into the sky. Imagine a hand or a paw you love coming and lifting you up. And we just cartwheel right on over to the other side, either elbow down onto the thigh or down onto the ground in front of the knee, left arm reaching up. And then exhale, ooh, send it across. Inhale, lift it all the way back up. Exhale, take your hands down in front of you and then take the heart forward, roll the shoulders back if you can. Go a little lower, coming down onto your forearms, maybe stacking your fists, taking your forehead onto stacked fists, stacking your palms, forehead onto stacked palms, or take the arms all the way out in front of you and the forehead down to the earth. Lift the head, lift all the way back up, and then, oh, okay. Now, once you've had a little shake out of the legs, just move your strap out of the way if it's in your way. And from here, just come all the way down onto your back. And then once you come onto your back, bend your knees, taking the feet at a hip distance stance, take your arms out to a T, cross your left leg over your right as far as it will go, turn your face left, inhale, and then exhale, oh, roll into your right hip, taking those cross legs down toward that right side. So this is just a little stretch for your lower back for your sacrum. A little twist and then roll back through center unwind and swap taking the right leg over the left turn your face right inhale exhale roll into that left hip taking the crossed legs down toward the left side Roll back through center, unwind, and then either take your legs out, letting them extend and flop and splay, or if it feels better to your lower back, keep your knees bent. And then just relax your arms however it's comfortable. Close the eyes. Take a few deep inhales through the nose with exhales sighing or blowing the air out of the mouth. And once you side out a few times, just come back to the natural rhythm of your breath. And just let it take over as it always does.
And feel your eyelids close gently over the eyes. And feel them become heavy. So heavy that it is as if they could no longer even open. Again, feel the muscles of your face soften and release. Likewise, feel your hands and your fingers relax, soften, let go. And as you rest here, Take a moment to appreciate your legs, your feet, all the places that they take you, all the ways that they take you, either walking, jumping, running, skipping, cycling, roller skating, ice skating, driving a car, sitting on a train. Take a moment to really appreciate the fact that these legs take you where you need to go, where you want to go. And likewise, take a moment to appreciate your freedom to do so all the times that you've been free to choose where to go, what to do. And just offer quiet thanks to these legs and to this whole body, these incredible neural networks circulatory network, all the ways that the muscles interact, the skeleton, how complex of a home this is that we inhabit. And just thank your body Maybe even place one hand on the heart and one on the belly. Thank your lovely legs. Maybe placing your hands on your legs. And then thank the earth below you. And start to deepen the breath. Take a little stretch. The movement of the fingers, the toes. And then we roll to one side in a fetal position. Bring yourself all the way back up to seated. Take your hands into prayer. And gently bow, honoring your body, your life, your practice, and this earth. And thank you all for um stretching along with me today. Um, I hope that you are having a beautiful day wherever you are. And um, another video should come soon, one in which we are going to use blocks. <laughs> okay. Namaste.